If you know me, you know I'm into divination, but I just learned one that is some weird, twisted shit. Thanks to a great recommendation on here to read The Angel of the West Window by Gustav Mayrink about John Dee, I learned about Tag Harem. This is an old Scottish form of divination, also known as spiritual echo or calling up of the dead, and there's several different forms of it. In the form of Tag Harem described in Mayrink's book, you're trying to get a demon to come and answer your questions. And so you take cats, maybe 50 cats, and you go into the middle of the woods and you don't eat food for days and then you roast these cats alive. And then through their screechings, eventually a spirit will come in the form of a giant black cat with a whole bunch of other black cats screeching around it. And then that spirit will answer your questions. The other version of this isn't as cruel, but it is weird. Because what you would do is... You would choose someone in your village to be the person who uh, answers the question and then you sacrifice an ox or a cow and you take their newly still warm skin and you wrap the person up in that completely and then you take them to a waterfall, a big loud waterfall, and you lay them in a recess in it, near it, so that they are constantly assailed by the sound of the waterfall. And as to how it works, I'll quote from this 1825 text describing it. Once they were laid there, the question was put to them, and the oracle was left in solitude to consider it. There they lay for some hours with this cloak of knowledge around them and over their head, no doubt to see better into futurity. Deafened by the incessant roaring of the torrents, every sense assailed, their body steaming, their fancy in ferment, and whatever notion had found its way into their mind from so many sources of prophecy, it was firmly believed to have been communicated by invisible beings who were supposed to haunt such solitudes. So there's two different versions of Tag Hairn. As for myself, I think I'll stick to the I Ching. <laughs>